Hello everybody and welcome to High Plane Games. My name's Simon and this is Nog! <gasps> One of the most inventively um, rewarding puzzle games in a screen. Or in a box. Puzzle in a box, I guess you could describe it. It's a very short game, but it's a very lovely game. Um, I've purposely taken my time for it. And let's go and dive in and see what Nog is all about. And we're going to play levels that I've already done. <laughs> because um, that's better <laughs> to explain what's going on. So each level, um, and I have completed purple, I had to reset my progress because they updated the game to fix a bug and they broke the trophies because <laughs> I'm playing this on PS4. Uh, that is now fixed, so the trophies are working now. Um, but you get these boxes that you kind of unbox as you go along and then you get to play with them. So I'm going to do... Uh, let's do Froggy. Uh, and you move these little things around with the left stick and then you press and hold with X but then everything is still done with the analog sticks so you need to like flick switches and do things like that as stuff goes on. Every puzzle that you have um, is a box and you can use the right stick to kind of manoeuvre around and have a little look and this froggy one is ultra cute. And the other great thing about Nog is that everything is like audio-tastic or reactive to whatever you do. So like little froggy blinks when you go past or you can just play with his teeth. And so on and so forth. So that's the front of the puzzle. Um, if you use the shoulder buttons, you spin around to the back. And that's where we need to start with this. And so what Nog is really, really great at 99% of the time is finding with light and musical cues kind of what you need to do with the puzzle. So that's obviously flashing. It starts to vibrate when you're on it. So if you press X, it lights up there, the little, little fish love, and then that light goes on. So you kind of get into the pattern as to what you're supposed to do very intuitively and the puzzles aren't always necessarily like hyper difficult but they do feel on the whole really really intuitive if you want to get involved Ta -da. And then the puzzles always evolve over time. So there's always like a, I need to get inside the box part of the puzzle. I love how extended this all is as well. Um, and everything kind of moves around as you go. So anything that vibrates or lights up or makes a noise, in general, you can react with. And this, in its simplest form, lets you then play with a light. And the light comes on, and that's all good. And you'd kind of be like, well, what do I do now? I can make him jump around a little bit. Jump around, boom, boom, boom. But that's about it. Oh, that got me. <laughs> that got me a trophy. Excellent. There we go. That's how you get one of the trophies, peeps. So that then upturns the bed, turns it the flap, which releases this strange little fella. As you can hear, the music kind of also builds over the course of a level or changes. And less on this level, but on other levels, the music is much more intuitive. Or in, in, uh, 
in line with what goes on in the actual thing itself. So I completely recommend this game uh, for light puzzling and for people that like music and puzzle games that where everything kind of interacts all together. Um, and also probably fans of things like uh, Aminata designs uh, that make uh, like Botanicula and Summerose, those kind of puzzles. Because it's more than the sum of its parts, if that makes sense. Oh, it's angry. Shake it off. Not very Taylor Swift of you. Um, but we've got rid of that big uh, butterfly, so we can now press the big button. Let's do it. a level so as you can see they aren't long they aren't big but um and to be fair that is the most the least evolved puzzle of the lot um let's dive into uh, let's go vortex actually so i really i really like how this one changes up things quite a bit So your spaceship is explodables. Um, so again, a, a, but it's another machine that you can kind of play with. So we can flick the switches, which stops all of that. We can spin stuff around, but nothing's necessarily happening at the minute. And we can see kind of where we are in space. Flip it round though, and we've got an entirely different collection of things to play with. So, you, I mean, I know what this is all about, but you kind of have to start off going, right, well, that kind of makes sense to me. the only things that we've got to play with at the minute are these different buttons but what it does is it flatland and um, so we've got a little spaceship thing going on there we've got three things that need repairing by the looks of it on there all of the different planets that are in the solar system there so i'm going to switch on to this mode not that it really matters Let's fling the switch do that and it chucks your little man out so, one button holds for you to just kind of swing around and go a bit nuts. So we do that. Okay, one thing repaired. And then using this. Was that repaired? Oh no, wrong button. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I recommend this for like not not lazy puzzlers, um, because actually I think it's 
it's a really nicely crafted game but i recommend this for children who want to have like complete interactivity with things because it's quite um intuitive and really well brought into the senses but you don't necessarily even have to be solving the puzzles to be having good fun so Engines are wrong. And then we can speed off into the distance. Ta da! We're using that to kind of steer ourselves around, and that's all lovely. Not necessarily doing anything though, but you can still play around with it. And so you could see kids just enjoying, like, interacting with the experience. It's because the only other game that you've kind of got on consoles that done anything like this was those horrific learning with the poo use. But they were so terrible, like as games, and really patronising. This doesn't go down that route at all. And as an adult, I'm quite enjoying finding out and solving puzzles as I go. So, in fact, let's cut that up to full speed. That's a long going nuts. So, then by flicking onto here, we now have this completely different kind of ship going on and then you realise what it's all kind of doing but unless you go around pressing the buttons you'll never know or find so what's going on so what we really need to do is to slow our asses down press that button and then it lights up that planet Mobile's kind of spinning around on the side there. So you're already being kind of primed for probably where your next lighting or target is or how many other planets you've got left to play with. There we go, it's all lit up. Actually, let's go to Meadow! Do -do 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 -do. see so everything is repaired that's all set to go and all the planets are done so you might kind of go oh well, what do I do now and actually this was a one bit where I was kind of like well, what do I do next and um, actually spin this around Tighten stuff up, and now suddenly your light is flashing, and that is the end of that level. So I love what's here on Nog. I wish there was more of it. That's my only um, downside of the whole thing, is that actually you could get through this in two hours quite happily, um, providing you don't come across like any proper mental blocks where you're just brain farting everywhere. Um, at the moment, my favorite level so far is purple, um, which I'm not gonna show you, but it's all beatbox related um, and lots of sounds. Log was really cute as well. Um, now I got, I'm got stuck currently on Labo um, and also there's one here called Eater um, where I think I'm doing something wrong so I've kind of taken a break from it and come back to it at a later point but because it's all at your own leisure and at your own pace you're just like, nah, I'll come back and I'll have a little diddle when I need to. So lovely, relaxing, soothing game, fantastic aesthetic, love the way how the puzzles are laid out. I wish there was more content. Um, so that I could like absolutely wholeheartedly say at full price go for it um, but there's just not quite enough there uh, for me to say like immediate must have buy 
that if you like what you see and you don't mind the fact that there is literally like eight or nine levels and that's it um dive in go nuts it's great so that's nog uh, and that's me for this video on higher plane games hope you have a great rest of the evening and uh, if you like what you see subscribe and say hello take care bye for now Bow, 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 bow. Right, 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 right.